Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'm bringing my unboxing and review of Best Friends Volumes 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one includes Blu-ray and digital from the duo that brought you the room and inspired the disaster artist, Tommy Y. Sao and Greg Sestero. Best Friends, Volume 1 and 2, two movie collection, exclusive limited edition. I'm not sure why they did that like that. My dad theorized maybe it's because it's rated R. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a weird thing to do there. I've never seen the room supposed to be like this really terrible movie. Uh, there's kind of like a border right here and Best Friends is embossed. Has kind of a metallic look to it. Pretty cool. Look to that. Here's a look at the spine. This one is from Lionsgate. Compared to The Room, this is Citizen Kane from Playboy. <laughs> Best Friends Volume 1, their cult classic hit The Room inspired the Oscar-nominated The Disaster Artist, now Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero, star in the new comedy thriller The Surreal Tale of a Friendship Gone Dangerously Wrong. Homeless drifter John is rescued by Harvey, an eccentric mortician who steals corpses' gold teeth. But just as John concocts a scheme to make them both fabulously rich off the loot, he learns horrific facts about Harvey's life that threaten to tear them apart. Special features, deleted scenes, behind the friendship featurettes. Commentary is writer, producer, actor Greg Sestero and actor Tommy Wiseau. This one is rated R for language and some grisly images. Has a runtime of 104 minutes. And volume two, this comedy thriller continues the bizarre saga of a dangerous drifter and the creepy mortician. With his friend Harvey out of the way, Spoiler alert, John and his girlfriend escape into the Arizona desert, but their quest to open a safe full of loot leads them to a gang of desperate, deadly characters. As he fights to survive, John is haunted by freakish memories of the long-lost Harvey. This one's rated R for language throughout, violence, and some sexual references. Special features, deleted scenes behind the friendship Uncle Rick featurette. This one has a 94 minute runtime. It's region A locked. Here is your side by side look. If you guys have seen one or either or both of these movies, love to hear your thoughts without spoilers in the comment section below. All right, let's check out the inside. Okay, it's just a single disc here. Same as the cover art. All right, guys, so I got to check out these two movies, Best Friends Volume 1 and 2. I'm just going to kind of review them together. It's going to be tough. Uh, I know there was already some spoilers. Uh, in the unboxing section, but uh, I'm definitely going to try to not spoil too much of the movie, but also talk about both movies. So let's just go over the information real quick. The first one is Rated R, has a one hour and 48 minute runtime, is a comedy drama thriller. It's directed by Justin McGregor and it stars Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau. And the second one is Rated R, has a two hour minute runtime, is a comedy drama thriller. And again, is directed by Justin McGregor and, and stars Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> so... I've never really experienced Tommy Wiseau before. Of course, um, the the room has just become like this infamous movie of just weirdness and terribleness. I haven't seen it, so I can't really comment too much on that other than all the clips I've seen on YouTube. Uh, and I was curious to see, uh, the, I don't know if this is like his next movie. I don't even know how old the room is, um, if he's done more stuff, but I mean, to, to take the the backlash and the feedback and everything that came with the room and then still be willing to make another movie i mean that that takes something that a lot of us don't have you know i so I, no matter what i respect the guy for that just to not give up and to keep working and doing what you do you know even though you're just ripped apart but <laughs> uh 
so this this movie was strange for sure. I I don't think it's on the level of the room from the clips I've seen. Uh, the the story on both of these movies is actually pretty good. Um, there are some strange scenes. There's that strange football scene in the room. He included a strange basketball scene in the first one of Best Friends Volume One. Um, <laughs> there was that you're tearing me apart. I think he did that in both movies. Like it's his calling card calling card now or whatever <laughs> and so uh he he's a he works at a morgue or not a morgue he works at a like a funeral home thing i can't think of what they called it exactly a mortuary or whatever and um greg sestero is this homeless guy and uh he, he ends up kind of meeting him and he hires him to help him work and uh, kind of just helps him turn his life around and they become friends or best friends but um, Greg's character kind of starts stealing from him, and uh, it ends up being that, like, uh, he has all these gold teeth that he's collected for many years, and so they're going to start selling them, and it becomes like they're like these weird, almost drug dealers, like doing these dark night back alley deals for gold teeth. <laughs> like I say, it is it is strange, um, and, and they're, they're making all this money, but... Uh, he's paranoid that it's like the FBI or it's somebody from the corporate office setting him up. So he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to spend any of the money. And then, uh, Greg's character gets suspicious that he's spending all the money and not sharing it with him. So then Greg's girlfriend kind of convinces him to maybe take him out of the picture. And that's kind of the first movie. You know, I thought it was a, it was a good story. Uh, like I say, the, the acting was okay. It wasn't that bad. Uh, there were a few strange scenes, a lot of really strange dialogue, and uh, Tommy Wiseau a lot of points. It was hard to even understand some of his words he was saying. And, you know, just that kind of strange way of saying things and having a, a weird dialogue. Um, but I enjoyed the movie. Now, the second movie, um, it kind of has Greg on the run with the money. And he's like, he's, it's in a safe and he's trying to crack the safe. And he's got his girlfriend with him. And she goes to see her uncle. And they're, they're just kind of trying to get the money out. I think the second movie is a lot better and more interesting. There's a lot less strangeness to it. it has a lot less Tommy Wiseau though, so it doesn't have the strange dialogues going on so much. If these two weren't involved with this movie, you know, you would, you could, I could easily just see this being another movie, you know, that anybody would make. Um, you know, kind of about people trying to get this money, and then there's other people, you know, who kind of try to find out, and you know, there's cops after them and, and whatnot. You know, it's it's just a a story we've seen many times. Um, they do add in a lot of really weird, confusing stuff that I, I don't. I just don't understand why. Like they could have easily made this movie a lot more simple. Um, they kind of like reveal the end slowly throughout the movie, but then at the end they're revealing more at the of the end, and then the back and the, like what's going on? It's, it just becomes so weird and mixed up in the timeline, and it just becomes really strange. But I actually really enjoyed the second one. Uh, like I say, I like the first one, but I think the second one is the superior movie. Um, but the story, you know, the story is two movies long, so I guess they turned it into two movies. But uh, the, just the story in the second one to me is superior. So like I said, guys, I did enjoy both of these. I think they're definitely worth checking out. Um, if you guys have never seen Tommy Wiseau or heard of him, you know, I think this is definitely worth checking out. It's just kind of a little different, I guess. Um, if you guys have seen The Room and you, you just kind of want to see what is next, like I said, I don't know if it's his next, but kind of something after that. Um, I think it's probably an improvement. I did pick up The Room, so I'm going to check that out, maybe review that one. Um, but I enjoy this one, and I, I think it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, this is two movies, and I think it's only going to be like $18 or so in stores, so definitely not a bad deal. So for a score on this one, guys, I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10. That's a combination of both movies. <laughs> Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Remember, you can find more information, including affiliate links to purchase the room, down in the description below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos, check out the videos, check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com, and I'll see you guys next time.